Hawaii, famous for beautiful beaches, great weather, and marijuana. Hawaiians call it Pakololo, crazy smoke. It goes by all names, Kona Gold, Kauai Electric, Maui Waui. Today, many say it is the number one crop in the islands, surpassing pineapples and sugarcane. What makes it Hawaii's number one cash crop? Great conditions. Plenty of rain, sun, and fertile volcanic soil. Two years ago, sugarcane, one of Hawaii's industries, brought in $240 million. Compare that to $360 million a year for marijuana, according to police estimates. Others estimate that with prices ranging between one and $3,000 a pound, Pakalolo marijuana brings in a high of $750 million a year to the state of Hawaii. There's so many people are growing that, I mean, nobody knows, like, really how much is being grown. Like I said, you know, you can go in just about anybody's backyard, and if they're not straight, they've got plants. Dave, a dealer, candidly admits he makes $60,000 a year selling marijuana for growers. It's a lucrative job he's been at for eight years. Now, I have read that marijuana grown in the islands is a bigger cash crop than pineapples and sugar cane. Definitely. It's second to tourism. Tourism makes more money out here than marijuana, but it's running a close second. <laughs> Very close. What are the growers like? Who are the people, the growers, that you deal with? Anybody from any walk of life. Doctors, lawyers, and they're all ages ranging anywhere from 16 to 60. There's really not that much risk involved. I mean, like, if you get caught, you're not going to get arrested, chances are. We find that if we arrest anyone for cultivating marijuana, uh, they go to court, and the state of the law is such that they usually get probation or uh, a fine or some slap on the wrist. In Hilo, but, uh, I talked with Guy Paul, chief of police for, for the county of person. Hawaii. Because of the manners involved, it's much more cost effective to take the plant out of the ground and end the problem before it starts. Operation Green Harvest, a cooperative effort by the police, federal narcotics officers, the National Guard, and the Coast Guard to eradicate marijuana from the islands. Helicopters are used to spot marijuana, which officers claim is easily identified from the air because of its distinctive blue-green color. Raids are conducted usually during the peak harvest season when plants are 10 feet high. Tons of marijuana are confiscated during the operations, and police say every plant is destroyed. Well, as soon as we get it, uh, we put it together in the dump trucks, take it to a burn site, and burn it immediately. We make sure of that. We can't afford any slip-ups. Now, I've read that green harvest and your green harvest raids, you only get like 10% of the marijuana crop. Well, that's a pretty good figure. My men estimate on this island that we get 10 to 20%. But uh, it's a start, and it's something that has to be done. Last year, they pulled 15 tons off the big island, and they really didn't make a dent in the market. And it hurts everybody when green harvest comes in, not just the growers and the middlemen or the drug dealers. It hurts the businesses because, you know, People go out, they, I mean, growers go out and buy food and new cars and Jeeps, and they pay cash, you know. I know a man who smokes his grass, he loves to just get high. The cops said to quit it, he said, forget it, he'll be out of jail, bum bye. Everybody sing it with me, bum bye. Come by, means later on okay. No need for worrying, no need for hurrying. That's what Hawaiians say. They say marijuana is grown on all the islands. It's grown in sugar cane fields, mountaintops, and even in people's backyards. Sometimes it takes two days to hike to a plot of marijuana. We've been hiking now for more than an hour, and we're almost there. Al has been growing marijuana for 13 years. He's a small-time grower, according to Hawaiian standards, making about $10,000 a year. We met a lot of people who knew growers, friends, relatives, themselves. But until Al, they were, for obvious reasons, reluctant to appear before a camera. 
so this is it. This is marijuana here. Now tell me, how much money are we talking about for one plant? Six to eight foot plant, the colas or the tops would roughly bring um, anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000. Uh, this is the seedlings that's uh, about two weeks old. This tall one is about, what, two months two old? Two months, yeah. Do you feel that you're taking a chance, though, growing this stuff? It's not getting caught by the cops. It's just getting ripped off by other people. If you have 10 people that grow in pot, you got 20 people that are looking for it. They don't grow it. They use their hands to steal it, but they don't use their hands to grow it. There appears to be a cat and mouse game between growers and police, but now there's talk of decriminalization. I think it might happen, and if it does, uh, it will relieve us to uh, go on to more serious matters. Do you want to see it decriminalized? Uh, I don't think my opinion really matters. <laughs> <laughs> you are in favor of legalization? Yeah. Yes, I am. But if that would happen, you would uh, be out of a job. Yes, I would. <laughs> Yeah, I would. Um, I'd probably open a tobacco store. <laughs> Sell all blends. If conditions prevail, growers expect a big marijuana crop this summer, possibly the biggest ever. Hawaii's marijuana, Pakalolo, an illegal cash crop that's number one. <laughs>